Well, the investigation into Pinnacle's possible insider trading is still ongoing. But Ernest Kaplan, the MD of Kaplan Equity Analyst, is on the line to have a look at what happened in the last couple of weeks in a company, Ernest, that you told us on the 27th of March was worth sticking with. You said that after the share price had dropped by half, that it was not accurate, the allegations that were being made. And at this point in time, um, I hope that you held on to all of your shares or maybe even bought more. Thanks, Alec. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's been an absolute roller coaster ride with Pinnacle over the past uh, couple months, actually. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've never been able to ascertain what the merits of the allegations were because I'm not a forensic uh, expert or, or somebody who gets in that amount of detail. But, you know, just having analyzed the company for almost a decade um, and having interacted with the people there, I, I never got the feeling that that they got to where they got because of, um, you know, untoward dealings and, and, and corrupt practices. So, you know, I've always, uh, you know, wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt when when they were quite surprised at that initial allegation. And I'm quite pleased that, that it's turned out the way it has. But as you rightfully point out, we still have a, uh, an insider trading uh, investigation, which is underway, and uh, we'll, we'll only know what the outcome of that is in due course. But the share is, is quite stable at the moment, and it's quite pleasing for shareholders. Mm. Well, not as pleasing for the shareholders who bought in around 25 Rand before the uh, scandal hit. But if you take that, if the scandal that hit uh, and caused the share price to go from 25 Rand down to even 7 Rand or so, um, if that is now being put out of the picture, at the current share price around 14 bucks, are you buying? Well, look, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm waiting uh, and I would recommend to wait for the upcoming results presentation to understand a little bit more about the weaker and softer results that we're going to see um, before I sort of make a view because, you know, you can't really tell what's going to be uh, the, the roadmap, let's say, over the next year or two uh, unless one really understands what impacts other things are having at the company not related to what we've been chatting about. Um, and then, you know, your question is very valid. I mean, the share was between 20 and 25 Rand, now it's 14, yet there is, no, there is going to be no case against them uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the attempted bribery uh, uh, situation. So why should it be sort of almost half the price? And I think the, really the reason is this shows you what happens when things like this happen and people sort of shy away from it. And uh, some investors will just say, we, we're not interested in this company, we'll go look elsewhere. Mm. Ernest, there are many issues in history or many examples in history. I was looking at two over the weekend that Warren Buffett was involved with. The one was American Express in 1964 and the other one was the salad oil, uh, well that was the salad oil king, and the other one was Geico, which nearly went bust in 1976. And in both instances he said, these are good businesses that had a problem that was brought in that in fact was artificial and in both instances he made huge amounts of money. Might we be sitting in a similar situation here with Pinnacle, a good company that has been uh, sold down too aggressively? Yeah, look, I mean, uh, you know, at 14 Rand, I wouldn't call it being way too aggressively sold down. I mean, earnings are going to be in the region of around 1 Rand 70 which puts it on a PE of 8, which is in line with what it's been over the past 5 to 10 years. In fact, it's arguably, been a, it's arguably had a lower PE than that. So I wouldn't say it's, it's been punished beyond all recognition. At 7 Rand it was. But um, I think that was just, just really a short-term reaction to, to, to news and potentially you know, shorting the stock and, and, and a lot of future trading. Um, but I think... I think it will personally I think it will it will it will level out now and potentially rise slightly. Um but then we've got to look at earnings, we've got to look at where the business is going. But I don't think this is, you know, ridiculously low levels.
Ernest Kaplan, the MD of Kaplan Equity Analysts. And if you were fortunate enough to get into the stock on the 18th of August, uh, 20, well, sorry, that's to, uh, anyway, if you were fortunate enough to get into the stock um, a few months ago, you would have been able to get it at 7 Rand 62. Well, that's all from us here in South Africa. After the break, our Southern African viewers will cross to international programming while the rest of Sub-Saharan Africa can catch Power Lunch West Africa. Let me just repeat that on Pinnacle. It was the 18th of August. That's only two weeks ago. You could have bought the shares at 7 Rand 62. You could have doubled your money in that period of time if you had the, uh, the grit of an Ernest Kaplan. But he doesn't think that you're going to be doubling your money anytime soon from the current region. So let's just wait for those results to come through. It's been a pleasure being with you again today. Back again tomorrow. Cheerio.